So let me just point out something to you guys, since we're here, since we're looking at it. When you go to a completed listing like this, say if a customer comes over and they're taking a look, so yes, at the top there, you're going to see other Louisville sluggers, but notice what's on the next line. More from the same seller. Now, what is going to happen if you don't have anything else that appeals to that customer? Just saying. All right. So we go down here and we see the TPX Louisville Slugger response, Gen 1X, blah, 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 baseball bat. And let me see the story on this. So Donald was having a bad shopping day, but on his way home, the very next yard sale, he stopped at, at he spent $10 on, oh, nice, six baseball bats and a really nice men's suit. So about $1.42 a piece. He listed this particular TPX Louisville Slugger bat for $220, accepted a best offer of, are you guys ready for this? $180. $180, that would be a profit of $178.58 for those keeping score. Very nice. You never know what you're going to find at yard sales. That's the thing you got to love about them. Um, yeah, there you go. That turned that what? Seemingly was a bad shopping day into a very, very good shopping day. Now, I don't know what the other five bats are, but hopefully they are, are of the same caliber. And here's the cool thing. If they're all listed, once you sold this one, that's going to give you a bump with Cassini for the other ones that you have listed that are similar too. So that's a beautiful thing. So look forward to seeing more of those scores come in, Donald. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Joni Kramer has a score. That would be 11138088 Let's see what this is. We have got, aha, I think I saw this uh, being posted over on the Annie Out Facebook group. Now notice that Joni has other items here that are dishware that the same customer could, could be uh, interested in. So let's give the backstory on this. Um, Joni says she purchased this 25-piece Archipel France dinnerware set in the honorine pattern for $11. She didn't mention where she purchased them. So Joni, if you're in the chat and you could tell us where you got those from. Uh, she sold the 25-piece set for her full asking price of $149.95 within five days of listing. So. Here is something to keep in mind, and, and Joni, I wish we'd have talked about this. We might not have, maybe I don't recognize the pattern. Thought I did, but whenever you are able to buy a large lot of china and dinnerware and there's these sets, you may want to consider selling them by the serving set. So one, two, three, so a four piece place setting. Place settings are very, very popular you still move a lot of pieces at the same time, but the packing and shipping isn't so bad. And let's say you could list, um, so let's see, like you can look over on replacements and, and Lisa gave me some numbers. She looked at this. Um, the dinner plates alone are being sold for $31.99 a piece over on replacements. And while we can't get replacements prices, we can definitely get something, you know, like $19.99 or $24.99, a little bit less than replacements times, however many of those um, place settings you have, that can be a, quite a sizable add up without a lot of the extra work of the, the shipping. So keep that in mind, you guys that do dishes. Now, if dishes are out of the norm for your niche, I wouldn't recommend this, but if you do a lot of dishes, consider piecing them out. Um, in fact, that is Lynn Drawley's claim to fame is learning how to sell that dinnerware. Because most people looking for dinnerware are either looking for like four plates or six plates or eight plates, or they're looking to replace a place setting, or they are just looking for a piece. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your listings. But hey, $138 profit, ka-ching, can't go wrong there. All right, Barb Jones. Barb Jones has a score for us this week. Let's see, that would be item number 2614. 6210 
2936. Oh, and Joni said she got those at an auction. Auctions are a great place to get dishes sets, guys. And my experience is they don't go for very much. People don't want to deal with dishes for the most part. I don't know why. It's good money. Okay, so Barb. Oh, I think we talked about this before. Her Mackenzie Child's Pottery. She purchased it at a garage sale for $2.33 a couple months ago. This is the Torque Kelp Urchin Lidded Canister Jar. There we go. And are you ready for this? She listed it for $349.95 and it sold for $300. $300 for what? Wait, let me go back on my notes. A dollar, two dollars and 33 cents turned into $300. I just love scores like that. I just love, and Barb, how many more pieces of that do you have? As I recall, you still have more pieces for sale of that really awesome, awesome Mackenzie children's pottery. Very cool. So exciting. Yay. You guys, the shoppers are still out there. I swear to you, they are still out there. All right. Carol Sanderson Hearn has a score for us this week. 1713583583 What do we have? We have uh oh, did I type that in wrong? Let's try that again. 1713 5832-0797. Ah, me and my typing wrong. Oh, glass. You know how I love to see glass. Though. What we have here is an art glass vase that she purchased at an estate sale 15 to 20 years ago for around five bucks. She says she had it listed many times at different prices. However, this time, she took new pictures, and within a day, it sold for her full asking price of $145. And I will tell you guys, sometimes the pictures, taking different pictures, putting a little more contrast in pictures, making your pictures pop, the picture quality does have some ranking with Cassini, so keep that in mind. Something you can try if you know you've got a really nice piece and you can't figure out why it's not selling. Retake your pictures. See if you can make them pop a little bit. Way to go, Carol. I am so pleased that this sold. Yes, that's right. Pictures truly are worth a thousand words. They are indeed. I can't quite tell how big this is. How big is this? Oh, it's five and a half inches tall. It's not very big. It's not a huge vase. So that's a very nice price. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Yay. Oh, I was getting told that that was your final piece of Mackenzie, Barb. So um, maybe you could post over there what your total, total investment and um, profit was on all those Mackenzie pieces that you bought. I would love to know that. All right. How about a guy stuff? Guy stuff score. Can't leave out the guys. This is from Matt. Matt, I do not know how to say your last name. Pin. I'm going to murder it. I'm just going to, I'm so bad at reading these names. Matt Pin, Pin Coach. I, forgive me. All right, you know who you are. Uh, let's see. Item number 2813. Yeah, your last name's a stumper for me. 1823 oh. Now, if I remember, right, you buy these old lawn mowers and chainsaws and all that stuff, and you take it apart and you piece it out, which I think is brilliant. And you probably really enjoy kind of disassembling and taking those things apart. So really a genius niche to get into. I got I to gotta definitely give it to you on that one. All right. So this came from an old Wisconsin engine block. Got it for free. That's the other beautiful thing is people will just give you stuff. I love it. Um, he said, old and obsolete means a longer flip time, but that he also gets to name his prices. Absolutely. So he listed this ignition coil and points for $95. 
and sold it for the same. And Matt, if you are over there in the chat, I would love to know how long did it take for this item to sell? Because that is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Here it is. You listed it April 23rd and it sold on June 20th. So not bad. That was, you know, less than two months, less than two months. That's pretty darn good, I would say. Yeah, I'd take that. I'd take that in a heartbeat. Way to go. And notice, you guys, notice what he's got here. More from the same seller. Lots more chances to find something else that you need that's in that niche. All right. One more from Lori Olson Moreno. This is item number 2614-9684-6891. Oh, I know I'm going to like this. Horsies, gotta love the horsies. Come down here. These are antique P. D. Nepali. D. It's easier to read than to say, you guys. You can read it. <laughs> Dodge Foundry pair of saddlebred foals, bronze bookends. Bronze bookends. These were found at at a yard sale for five bucks. Listed them for $99.99 and took a best offer of $75. And I don't know, Lori, if you are over there, how long these took to sell. But I just want to give a couple little pointers. Whenever you have something that's really got that emotional, that kind of awe-inspiring feel to it, do not be afraid to put your prices even a little higher. Because um, people do buy these on emotion, and depending how long these were listed, I may or may not have taken that $75 offer. Um, in fact, I just had something the other day where I just listed it, and they came in and made an offer. Granted, it was a good profit margin, but I was like, no, I just listed this, so I'm going to hold out just a little longer. Um, but start those prices out a little higher, because that same buyer, while they they knew you would take a lower offer because you had best offer. Had you had it priced at, you know, $149.99 or $199.95, they might have come in at $125 or $100. So just keep that in mind. And, I, hey, I am not going to scoff at a $70 profit margin, okay? Not doing it. Not where I'm going with that. But just something to keep in mind when you get those items that are really kind of tugging at the heart kind of things. So beautiful, beautiful piece, though. I would have definitely been going, oh, I want that, because I'm kind of that horsey-loving kind of person. So you guys, thank you so much for playing along, for posting your scores. Nothing to see. Move along. Okay, here we go. So if you go here, you see this little thing here. You can search the group for whatever it is that you want to see. So let's say I want to see scores. I type in scores and that is going to pull up all of the scores. Okay? So that you can go back weeks and weeks and weeks and under each one of these you can pull this open right here and that's going to pull open all the scores and be sure you click view 26 more comments or however many more. So if you want to see them all, they're all there with a little picture. Look at the ones you want to look at. Tons of scores guys so you can see what's selling and what people are buying. Who let them cows out? Boo, boo, boo. 